Hello mga katuto! Welcome to One on One TV and Tutorials. Ang lesson natin ngayon ay relations among chords, arcs, and angles. Simulan natin pag-aralan ang circle. Sabi dito, circle is a set of all points equidistant from the center. So ito yung ating example ng circle na kung saan ito yung ating center. Pangalanan natin itong center na ito as point A. So itong circle na ito ay pwede nating isulat o basahin as circle A. The next one is radius. Radius is a line from the center of a circle. Ito naman ang ating example ng radius. Mula dito sa ating center hanggang sa ating point ng circle. So, itong radius na ito, pwede nating isulat as segment AB. Another example of radius, segment AC. Pwede rin ang segment CA. Ang mga radius dapat ay magkakapareho ang length. Tulad dito sa ating segment AB, dapat pareho rin ang length niya sa ating segment CA. Halimbawa, ang ating segment AB ay 5 meters. So therefore, ang ating segment CA ay 5 meters din. The next one is diameter. Diameter is a line joining two points on the circle and passing through the center. Kung titignan natin ang ating diameter, ang ating line ay dumaan siya sa ating center na point A. Ang ating diameter ay segment BD. Pwede rin ang segment DB. Ang ating diameter ay twice the length of the radius. Halimbawa, ang length ng ating radius ay 5. So therefore, ang ating diameter ay 10. Next. Chord. Chord is a line segment joining any two points on the circle. Ito naman ang ating halimbawa ng chord. So ang ating chord dito ay segment B, D. Pwede rin ang segment D, B. Another example, ito. Ito yung ating segment C, D. Pwede rin ang segment D, C. So, ito yung ating example ng chord. Next, semicircle. Semicircle is an arc with a measure equal to one half the circumference of a circle. So, ito yung ating circumference ng circle. Pag sinabi nating semicircle, ito ay half of the circle. Halimbawa, ito yung ating diameter. So, dito malalaman natin yung halves ng ating circle. So, ito yung arc BD. So, yung ating arc BD or arc DB ay ang ating semicircle. At ang measure ng ating semicircle ay 180 degrees. Next, minor arc and major arc. Let's try to differentiate minor and major arc. Sabi dito, minor arc is an arc of the circle that measures less than a semicircle. Then, major arc is an arc of the circle that measures greater than a semicircle. Tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, ang semicircle measures 180 degrees. Pag sinabi nating minor arc, Less than 180 degrees dapat. At ang major arc naman ay more than 180 degrees. Tignan natin yung ating example dito. So ito yung ating minor arc. Ito ay arc BC or pwede rin ang arc CB. Kung makikita natin dito sa ating illustration, itong arc na ito ay less than 180 degrees. Kasi ang ating semicircle ay ito. At ang ating major arc naman ay 
ito. Itong arc B, D, C. Pwede rin ang arc C, D, B. Naglagay ako rito ng point D para ma-emphasize natin ang ating major arc. Kasi pag wala itong point D na ito at ang ating major arc ay arc B, C, pwede rin siyang maging minor arc. Kasi ang ating minor arc dito ay arc B, C din. Kaya, mas maganda kung meron tayong another point on the circle para ma-emphasize natin or para malaman natin ang ating major arc. Halimbawa, ang ating arc BC is 60 degrees. So dito, malalaman na natin kung ano ang ating major arc. So, this major arc measures 300 degrees. Pag inad natin yung 60 saka 300, that is equal to 360 degrees. Okay, so let's have another definition. Central angle. Central angle is an angle formed by two rays whose vertex is the center of the circle. Pag sinabi natin vertex, ito kung saan nagdikit yung points nung dalawang lines. So ito yung ating vertex, yung point A. Then, yung vertex na iyon ay ang center of the circle. Since ang ating center of the circle ay point A, so ito yung ating central angle. Angle B, A, C. Pwede rin ang angle C, A, B. Basta siguraduhin lang natin na yung middle dito ay yung ating vertex. Angle B, A, C intercepts arc B, C. Since ito yung ating angle B, A, C, so therefore the intercepted arc is itong ating arc B, C or arc C, B. Halimbawa, the measure of angle B, A, C, yung measure ng ating angle B, A, C is 60 degrees, then the measure of arc B, C is also equal to 60 degrees. Kung itong angle na ito measure 60 degrees, itong intercepted arc niya ay 60 degrees din. So therefore, the measure of the central angle is equal to the measure of the intercepted arc. Let's have another example of central angle. So ang ating angle dito ay angle B, A, D or angle D, A, B. Ang ating arc BD is intercepted by angle BAD. Example, the measure of arc BD is 75 degrees. Then, the measure of angle BAD is also 75 degrees. Sabi dito, the measure of the intercepted arc is equal to the measure of the central angle. Kaya, kung 75 degrees ito, yung central angle natin ay 75 degrees din. This time, inscribe angle. Inscribe angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides contain chords of the circle. Ang pagkakaiba ng ating central angle at inscribe angle, ang ating central angle yung vertex niya ay nasa center. Samantalang ang ating inscribe angle, ang vertex naman niya ay nasa circle. So, tignan natin yung halimbawa ng inscribe angle. Ito. Ito yung halimbawa ng ating inscribe angle. Angle B, C, D. Pwede rin ang angle D, C, B. So, ito yung ating halimbawa ng inscribed angle. Yung vertex niya ay nasa circle mismo. Itong ating inscribed angle na angle BCD intercepts arc BD. 
Tignan natin ito. The measure of inscribed is equal to one half of the measure of its intercepted arc. Sabi dito, para makuha natin yung inscribed angle dito, kukunin lang natin yung one half ng ating arc BD. Okay, so let's have this example. The measure of arc BD is 100 degrees. Find the measure of angle BCD. Since ito yung ating intercepted arc, arc BD, ang measure nito is 100 degrees. Sabi dito, one half of its intercepted arc. Para makuha natin yung ating inscribed angle, kukunin lang natin yung one half nung ating intercepted arc. So, one half times the measure of arc BD, which is 100 degrees. So, one half times 100 degrees, so that is 50 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of this inscribed angle BCD is 50 degrees. Okay, so let's have another example. The measure of angle BCD is 60 degrees. Itong ating inscribed angle na BCD measures 60 degrees. Ngayon, hahanapin naman natin yung measure ng ating arc BD. So, so ang gagawin natin, measure of arc BCD is 60 degrees equals one half of the intercepted arc BD. Then, para makuha natin yung measure ng arc BD, multiply both sides by 2. So, makakancel yung ating 1 half dito, saka 2. Then, multiply 2 and 60. So, that is 120 degrees. So, therefore, the measure of arc BD is 120 degrees. Sabi dito, the measure of the intercepted arc is twice the measure of the inscribed angle. Since ang measure ng ating inscribed angle dito ay 60 degrees, so ang gagawin lang natin ay imumultiply lang ito sa 2. So 60 times 2 is equal to 120 degrees. So yun na yung measure ng arc BD. Para mas lalo nating maintindihan, subukan nating sagutan ang sumusunod na mga tanong. Sabi dito, use the figure to name the following terms related to circle A. So ito yung ating circle A. Number 1, segment FE. Ito yung ating segment FE. Sa so ano kaya itong ating segment FE? Okay, so ang ating segment FE ay chord. Next, number 2. Arc CD. Ito yung ating arc CD. So ang ating sagot ay minor arc. Next, angle DAC. Angle DAC. Okay, so ito ay central angle. Next, number 4, angle EFD. EFD. So, ito ay inscribed angle. Next, number 5, segment AC. Ito yung segment AC. So, ito ay radius. Next, number 7, Arc EFC. Arc EFC. So, ito ay major arc. Next, number 8. Segment FD. Segment FD. So, ito ay diameter. Next, number 9. Angle FAC. So, ito ay central angle. Then next, number 10, A. So, ito yung ating A. So, ito ay ang ating center. Okay, so let's have another activity. 
identify what is being asked in the given items. Refer to circle A. Number one, the angle intercepting arc FB. Ito yung ating arc FB. So, ang ating angle dito ay angle FAB. Pwede rin ang angle BAF. Next, number 2. The angle intercepting arc ED. Ito yung ating arc ED. So, ang angle dito ay angle EAD or angle DAE. The next, number 3. The arc intercepted by angle DAB. Ito yung ating DAB. So, the arc intercepted by this angle is arc BD or arc DB. Next, number 4. The angle intercepting arc CG. Ito yung ating arc CG. So, the angle of this is angle CAG or angle GAC. The next, number 5. The arc intercepted by angle FAC. Ang ating angle ay FAC. So, ang ating arc ay arc FC. Pwede rin ang arc CF. Okay, let's have another activity. In circle A, Use the figure to answer the following. Number 1. If the measure of angle DCB is 75 degrees, find the measure of arc DB. Ito yung ating angle DCB. This angle measures 75 degrees. So therefore, the measure of this arc DB is 150 degrees twice of this 75 degrees so 75 times 2 is 150 degrees next number 2 if the measure of arc fc is 187 degrees find the measure of angle fdc so the measure of this angle is 93.5 degrees one half of 187, and that is 93.5. Next, number three. The measure of angle FAB is 40 degrees. Find the measure of arc FB. So the measure of arc FB is 40 degrees. Next, number four. If the measure of arc F B is 88 degrees, find the measure of arc F C B. Okay, so the answer is 44 degrees. Kukunin lang natin yung one half nitong 88 degrees. Next, number 5. The measure of angle B A D is 63 degrees. Find the measure of arc F C. So the answer here is 63 degrees. Since itong angle na ito, saka ito ay vertical angles. So kung ano yung measure dito, kapareho rin niya dito. So if this is 63 degrees, this angle measure 63 degrees din. So therefore, this is equal to 63 degrees. This arc F C. So, ganyan lang makatuto kung paano ang chords, arcs, and angles. Sana nakatulong ang video na ito para mas lalo nyo pang maintindihan ang lesson nyo sa mathematics. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye!